Starting the removal process, first you would remove your shift knob. After you have your shift knob removed, uh, pull up on the console here. You should see the clips pop off. Once you're there, pull the e-brake up. Lift the console up. You have two connectors under here. And unplug each connector. Alright, once you're to this point, you would use a flathead screwdriver and you locate in each corner, there's an arrow in each corner of the boot here. Place the screwdriver in between the plastic ring and the rubber boot and gently push outward, unclipping the clip and you just work yourself around to all four corners doing the same thing. Once the ring is unclipped, you can grab it and work, work it out, sliding it up the shifter. And that will expose the bottom of the shifter. Once you're to this point, there's a little rubber tab. You may have to shift into uh, fourth gear. Getting access to this little rubber pull tab. Pull up on the tab. Work your fingers around until you have that boot up exposing the three bolts underneath it all right with a 10 millimeter socket and extension work your way around loosening the three bolts you may have to rotate the boot each time to get access to the bolts Shift into third to get the last one. Put it in neutral. Be sure to hold a little pressure on top of the shifter as there is a spring uh, pushing up on the shifter. Once you have the last bolt removed, Pull up on the shifter and remove your OEM shifter. You will have a lot of old grease in here. You may have a lot of dirt and debris. Just be careful to remove the spring and set that aside. We will be using that later in the hybrid racing shifter install. After you have the spring removed, Take a shop towel or paper towel, place in the hole. This is just to prevent any debris from falling into there. Then remove any remainder 
sound deadening foam you have around this original shifter console. Yours may be ripped, torn, or in pieces, but remove whatever you have left. Take a clean rag and wipe down the inside. Of the transmission. Getting rid of any old grease or dirt that may be in there. Then you're ready for the install of the Hyper Racing Shifter. Now we're going to unbox our HR Shifter and do some pre-assembly before we install it into the car. You have a little install card. It explains a little bit about the S2000 and the parts that are included with this shifter. Scan the QR code and you'll be linked to the written install guide. All right, first we're gonna remove the pieces from the box. All right, I have a little hardware kit with included grease and the bolts and hardware needed to assemble that. All right, so first thing you need to Grease the shifter. So with the included grease, liberally grease the main ball. All right, then with your finger, apply the grease. And this grease does help reduce some of the vibration transmitted through the shifter. Once you're to that point, identify where the reverse lockout is and make sure that it is pointing to the left. When you have it in this orientation, take the main cup with the center notch um, oriented to the top, slide it through and push in gently. You shouldn't have to force it very much, it will just clip in by itself. Just to confirm, make sure that the notch is at the top and the reverse lockout is to the left. If you assemble this incorrectly, this will prevent you from going into some gears. Grease the pivot ball at the bottom. Same thing, take your finger, work it around, make sure everything is greased. Take the little pivot cup with the two O-rings on it and push gently and it will clip into place. Once you're to this point, take the remaining grease that you have Apply grease to the outside of the cups. Be sure to also grease the lower O-ring cup. With your finger, work the grease all the way around. All 
All right, next step. Take the machine top. Be sure to indicate the machine groove at the top. Slide it down the shifter. Should only fit one way. And locate it on the notch in the cup. All right, when you're to this point, slide the rubber boot holder collar over the top. Using the set screw provided, install with the smallest Allen wrench, tighten up the set screw and rotate to align the point of the set screw in the divot of the shifter. Once it's fully tightened, the set screw will sit flush with the shifter and that will indicate that it's properly installed. Okay, at this point, your shifter is pre-assembled and ready to install into the car. You're gonna take the spring perch and insert that into the bore of the transmission there with the word top visible. You're gonna install the original shifter spring and just place it on top of the spring perch. After that, you're ready to install the shifter that you just pre-assembled. Carefully slide it into place. Lining up the lower cup in the transmission selector. This does take a little bit of finesse uh, as the parts are very tight. Just do not use a lot of force and force it into the car. Align the cups up and it will slide into place. Using the provided bolts and washers, bolt the shifter down. You can use a five mil Allen wrench to work your way around tightening these bolts. If you do not have one, we have included an L five millimeter Allen wrench in the box. Work your way around in a circular pattern, tighten in each bolt. Tighten each bolt to about five to six foot pounds. Included in the packaging of the shifter is the sound deadening foam that will be replacing the old foam that's in your car. Once you have this and you're at this step, insert it around the shifter, working it to the front and to the back. This foam will help reduce the noise transmitted from the transmission into the cabin of the car. So without this foam, you will have excessive noise in the car. At this point, take the OEM shift boot, 
slide it down shifter working it all the way down make sure to line up the arrows in each of the four corners gently push down and it should clip into place at the top pull down over the collar and it will set on the collar like so All right, at this point, take the offset, install the offset on the top. This bolt on the side helps you adjust the rotation of the shifter. If you want to loosen and rotate your shifter into a different position, you have the ability to do that. Once you find the set position that you like, tighten the Allen bolt. And then on the opposite side, you can loosen the Allen bolt to raise and lower the shift knob. This line here machined in the side of the rod is the limit that we recommend on the lowest setting. Once you have your position set, retighten the screws. And now you're ready to install the console. Now we're ready to install the console. Place the console in the car, making sure to align. It may help to go into third gear to align the shift boot. Lower it down. Plug in the connectors. Make sure to align the shift boot, allowing the shift rod to come through. Once you have the two connectors installed, work your way around, clipping in the console. Lastly, install the shift knob of your choice. finished. Be sure to go through each gear before driving the car. Make sure that you can get into reverse and that the shifter is installed correctly.